if an author is on a budget, where would you recommend they spend their money on their website and where should they save their money? Okay. I would say spend time. I mean, I guess this isn't, I, I took this because you sent me the question before. So I took it a little bit more, uh, I guess, uh, not liberal, but wider than just money. So spend time, um, spend that time figuring out exactly what you want and you need from your website. And what is it that, what are your pages? What is the content that's going on your pages? Um, and I actually have a, I have a, um, my website, it's an, a website, author website guide which walks you through that. And you ask these questions. And I, the first thing I have people do is spend time looking at author websites that they like, that they don't like. And you pick three that you like and three that you don't like. And then you write down, this is why I like this site. These are the features. These are the things that I absolutely love. This is what I don't like. And that gives you a feel for what you like and what you want and your design aesthetic. Um, it gives you an idea of things that you may not have thought about. So like, oh, I love that this author did that you know because a lot of times authors will just put their their books as book 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 like one individually uh, and but i've seen ones that have done it on a slider and i was like oh that's kind of cool and and in some cases for some authors that would work really well uh, so spend time investing in looking at your website and that that will save you a lot of frustration and a lot of heartache and if you're working with somebody you know the Hardest thing as a, a somebody who works with authors on websites is them not knowing what they want. They're like, I just want an author website. I was like, okay, that's great. It's really important. That's a good starting point. What do you like for colors? What are your features? What are all that? And if you have all that, it's going to save you time with that person who is more than likely going to charge for that time. So it'll save you time and money there. Um, but I also think uh, you can save on author photos. And I don't mean just go and take selfies, but have somebody take pictures of you and pick the best one. It's a great way to engage your followers. Say, hey, I'm picking an author photo. Here are my top three. Which one do you like? And that's getting your followers involved saying, oh, I like I like number two. I like number three. And then pick and use that. Um, maybe that there's a group, a photography group in your area who you can reach out to and say, hey, I'm an author. I'm looking for a photo. Is anybody interested? And be willing to pay and compensate that person for their time and the talent that you don't have. Uh, but you're probably not going to be spending, you know, four or 500 on somebody who is, isn't a professional. Um, another thing that I, that I was thinking when I was thinking about this question was you could go to your local high school, you know, talk to the art teacher and say, Hey, is there, is there a student who's really into photography who could use building up of their portfolio? You know, this is what I'm looking for. And you may be able to, connect you that way. And it may work in uh, like in America, it would probably work a little bit better than over here in the UK, but uh, just with the child protection and safeguarding stuff, but, you know, get creative and, and look outside of just taking that selfie. Um, and then the, another one would be to look for that host that does offer that free SSL um, and then that free domain name for, cause it'll often be just for the first year. Um, but you can also look for a website host at times when they're on sale. So like there are certain times of a year. So oftentimes it'll be uh, New Year's. They'll have a great sale. Um, in America, July 4th, they'll, they may have a sale. You know, look at those points in the year where a natural sale would come along and the, you could get it for half the price for the first year. And then you can say, okay, well, this is what it's going to be in a year from now or two years or whatever the, the contract is then you can set aside the money that you need to save up for paying full price. 